How does this family find so many creative ways to screw up their image? I mean, soon we're going to see the Ace family in the Guinness Book of World Records for screwing over their fans the most times because, you know, they are currently holding that title. But there's been a lot of new information that's dropped regarding the whole Ace Family Festival that they're holding this year. So that's what today's video is on. So first things first, remember when they announced the whole festival? Allegedly, they used stolen footage to promote their festival. In my last video, I think I said something around the lines of no matter how much B-roll footage they show, that doesn't change the fact that the Ace Family festival is about to look like DashCon. But I guess even that B-roll footage they showed of this festival was stolen. So that in itself is a disaster because they literally use stolen footage to sell tickets to an event. I'm starting to get a feeling they just love lawsuits at this point. But what's funny to me is how they acted after they just showed us the stolen footage. All right, so now that you guys saw what we have in store, are you guys not excited that we have the funnest festival coming? Oh my God. What do you guys think? Be honest. We think this is going to be the best one yet. Well, to be honest, with your event history, it seems like you guys suck at hosting events. You guys also promoted the whole festival using stolen footage. You undersold tickets again, yet lie and say that they're sold out. This all around just seems like a disaster. POV, the Ace Family stole your footage to sell tickets to their new scam event. The Ace Family, Catherine and Austin, took footage, and now I'm going to show you. First, I'll show you footage from the Ace Family's leaving YouTube video where they promoted Ace Fest, and at the very end, you'll see there was video promoting this and showing sort of like some fair scenes. And then I'll show you scenes from the original film that Jay and Mac Films made. And you can see Catherine and Austin clearly pirated this. So take a look. So what particularly angers me about this whole situation and, and the pirating is that the Ace family is one of the worst offenders, I'll say, with Superman probably heard of them. I did a video about them. They're the ones that go around taking down videos. Anytime they detect, they use YouTube's like automatic software that looks for Ace Family content. And if a channel like mine or other people makes a commentary video, even though they're legitimately and legally using clips from the Ace Family for commentary, what happens is Superbam on behalf of the Ace Family will file a copyright claim if they find even a snippet of Ace Family content. Yeah, and they'll take full revenue. That's definitely happened before. To my knowledge, I don't think they block videos. I think they have blocked one of my videos once ages ago, but normally they just claim all the revenue. But I don't think they're the most aggressive offender. They do do it here and there. I have noticed it, but uh, <clears throat> Dr. Phil would be a lot worse than them. But we don't talk about him anymore. He's gonna claim this just for you saying <laughs> Dr. Phil. <laughs> I feel like if my next door neighbor whispered Dr. Phil's name while I was recording this video, the entire video would be claimed. I said this before, what happens is you lose all of the revenue that you're... The whole video makes it, even if you have two seconds of Ace Family and you have a half hour video. Yeah, that's definitely a, a broken aspect of YouTube. If anything, they should split revenue based on how much percentage of the video is someone else's video. If 2% of the video was someone else's footage, then sure, if they were petty enough to claim it, they could claim 2% of what the video generated in revenue. Now, I'm sure there's ways to exploit that, but still, I feel like that would at least be more fair than how it's currently set up. But also, I'm not gonna be complaining too much because I'm very grateful for the position that I am in right now. All of the revenue from that goes to the Ace family. So they're always harping on and, and going after people allegedly pirating who aren't really pirating their content. And here they are blatantly stealing footage from these people who work so hard to make a living from their videos and from their professional videos. And here's the Ace family just not even thinking anything of it. Let's just be our usual slimy selves. So do you think that's actually the Ace family that pirated that footage, downloaded that footage and added it in? Or was it their editor that did that? I'm assuming it's the editor. I don't think they're doing it. Remember when they accidentally left in some footage before though? Yeah, see that's it. I think that's an editor mishap. I don't think that's a Ace family thing. But still they would know that it's not their footage and they know that they're not crediting. You have all these like royalty free footage uh, websites. So <laughs> they might have some subscription to a royalty free footage website assuming that the editor was using that when the editor just did a massive oopsie. But no matter if it was actually Austin or Catherine that stole that footage or one of their editors, it's their responsibility to know that they have full rights to use all the footage that they upload onto their YouTube channel. But this wasn't the only time they did this because Mad Catster over here found another instance of them stealing footage for their videos. It's very short, but you can see it's basically outside where it's switching from dark to dawn and it's in like high speed. So that's the clip, the original clip. So now here's the clip that the Ace family used in the middle of their Christmas video. And here it goes. So you can see 
it's exactly the same. So they, ha- again, have stolen this video. Yeah, yeah. They're in the wrong there. I see why he's calling them out on that. They have claimed videos of me for simply using 20 seconds of their footage. They used four seconds there. So it is shorter, but still. And anytime I use footage from another YouTube creator, I always have that in the description of every video of mine. I feel like that's the right thing to do. But that's really just minor stuff because the bombshell of this video is apparently the Ace Family Festival is being hosted where they're sharing a space together with another event where the ticket entry price is $15 instead of $300 and $500. Those were their options previously. So this has caused people to speculate if you can just go there, buy the $15 tickets of the other festival, then have all the access to the Ace Family Festival. So I guess you could save up to like $400 if you do it that way, but you wouldn't get the meet and greet. But apparently Mad Catster actually called the event location to see what's going on. Confirm the date of an event I bought a ticket for, but I don't see it on your website. The Ace Fest on July 9th. Is July 9th the correct date? I just was a little concerned when I looked on your thing and it's not there. Oh, wow. It's being hosted on July 9th. That's really soon. Yeah. I have an art festival, a carnival, and a carnival lot. A carnival? Wait, are they really throwing a festival within like three months? In the carnival. And what's that? That's the art fair? Art festival. And that's in the carnival lot. I appreciate it. So, so, but there, there's something booked for the carnival lot, but it's an art fest. And I know something else is going on there, but I, I thought it was supposed to be a um, something somebody from like YouTube or YouTube. Oh yeah, that would be the Ace Fest. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so, so it is, but it is going to be booked. Uh, I'm so sorry. That's okay. No, no, I appreciate your. I got scared because I'm like, oh my god, is this a scam? You do show you do show that something is being booked. So I guess it is confirmed that they are sharing a space with this other event. So it will be very interesting to see how all of this plays out. Can you just buy a $15 ticket and get into the Ace Fest? Or is that going to be separate? Will they just have a a little uh, fence walling between the two areas? Maybe wristbands with different colors. Or the Ace Fest just has the ball pit and you have to have the $400 Ace Fest ticket to get into the ball pit. But apparently there's more. This art festival that I talked about in my video from yesterday, that wasn't really an accurate description. It's more of a festival, like as in the Ace Festival. Ironically and coincidentally, I'm sure, they share a lot of the same things that are going to be offered at this July 9th event. And since they're sharing the carnival grounds, it would seem to me that maybe the partners that the Ace family has been referring to is actually this separate festival that's going on. Well, boys, this one will be interesting to follow. Imagine if they sold all their tickets and then you have to pull up to the event and pay an additional $15 to get into this event. And then the Ace Family Festival tickets are just essentially meet and greet tickets. (laughs) That would be sad, but I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Part of me really wants to go, though. (laughs) Drop a like on this video if you want me to go to the Ace Family Festival. Shout out Mad Catster for the amazing journalism. I'll be linking all the videos we watched in this video in the description down below. Again, drop a like on this video and check out this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.